Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new, my name is Robin and today I have an all day cleaning video for you guys. So if you love cleaning videos, then this is for you. We had a very busy morning starting early today, so I didn't even get a chance to make our bed before we left the house, and that drives me crazy. So before I start on anything else, I'm going to start here in our master bedroom with our bed. So now that the bed is made and all of the pillows that I usually store at night on our chair are cleared off, I am going to take time to do my quiet time and read my Bible. When I have a busy day ahead, sometimes it seems like it would be easier just to skip this and pick up tomorrow, but I know that when I do this, I usually have a more productive day. God always multiplies my time and I always walk away so glad that I did this. And today I'm spending time in numbers in the second chapter and I'm reminded that we are made in God's image and God is a God of order and that is perfect for today because I need to get our home in order. Now it's time to get our laundry room in order. I have a few things that I had hanging here to dry, so I'm going to take those and fold them in a little bit. I also have some things that are hanging up that I need to put away, and I have some sheets because my parents were visiting from out of town from our guest room, and so I'm going to stick those in and get those started before I get busy with the rest of my cleaning. There's also a load of Norwex cloths in my dryer that I need to take out and fold. I always wash these separately so that they don't pick up all of the lint from our other laundry, which will cause them to be ineffective. So after I fold them, I actually keep them in the drawer next to my dryer here, and that way they're separated from all of our other cleaning cloths and rags. These are the things that I had on our drying rack and these are mostly my things like pajamas and other delicates and so I like folding them here on my bed because they all get tucked away in the dresser behind me. I decided to switch up how I'm cleaning today. I really need to clean almost the entire downstairs of our house. And so instead of going room by room, I decided to kind of do everything by task. And so I'm going to start with dusting and I'm gonna dust everything in each room that needs to be cleaned. And then I'm gonna go and do the vacuuming and the mopping and whatever so that I can have one thing out at a time and just move from room to room. So we'll see how that goes today. And instead of just using my Norwex dust cloths um, dry as I usually do, and they really are effective that way, I just feel like some of our surfaces need a little extra. And so I'm planning to use the Mrs. Meyers All Purpose Cleaner, and I have it in the Lemon Verbena scent. And I'm really enjoying this scent, and I think it's doing a great job on all of our furniture. planning on just moving the lamp and setting it right back down but since I made the surface wet with some of the all-purpose cleaner I thought maybe it would be better to let it dry before setting everything back down so I'm gonna put these things aside and go clean my husband's nightstand and when I'm finished and everything's dry I'll put everything back
bed into our living room. I always like to let in the sunlight and we've had a lot of rainy days here in Texas lately. A lot of fog and overcast days which aren't really typical but I am enjoying that we have a bright sunny day today and it will actually help reveal all of the things that I need to be cleaning in here. I had planned to just do a quick tidy up here in the living room and then start on the dusting. But once I got to the couch, I realized that there were a lot of crumbs that needed to be cleaned up and even a piece of paper that was behind the cushion. And I have no idea how that got there, but it made me realize that I needed to take all the cushions off and do more of a deep cleaning on the couch. back to dusting and it is so much easier on our coffee table since I did a decluttering of it recently and if you guys are interested I'll try to remember to link the video where I did that in the cards above but I had books stored on the lower level and they were just getting really dirty um, dirt, dirt and dust was getting trapped under there mostly from Austin and his fur because he's shedding and so with those things gone I can clean this table in no time and Austin always thinks that I'm playing a game whenever I get out the dust mitts. He wants to play and it does make cleaning harder, but he's so cute I can't resist. So we took a little break and went outside so he could expel some energy. And then when I came back, I was able to finish up the dusting without him interfering so much. kitchen I just have some things to put away like this piece of paper that I found in our couch and also just things that we had drying out here from dinner last night from breakfast this morning and so I'm gonna put those things away and do a little bit of a tidy up in here
fiber cloth to clean our countertops. And I'm not doing a real thorough job here. I'm just hitting all of the areas that we've used today so far. So usually in the evening when I'm cleaning up after dinner, I'll do a really thorough job all over the counters. And so that when we wake up in the morning, everything is spick and span. continuing the dusting in our guest room and as I said my parents were here just recently and so I'm going to clean up in here and I did a lot of dusting before they came so there's not much to do and I also want to put on the sheets that I've been washing. And the last room I want to dust for today is our dining room. dining room I'm using the Method Wood for Good Everyday Furniture Cleaner and I really like this product too. It smells like almonds. And when I'm cleaning all day like this I really like to switch up my products because it keeps me motivated and I get all of my cleaning products from the Grove Collaborative so if you guys are interested in any of them you're welcome to use my referral link in the description box below.
the vacuuming and before I get started I want to add a few drops of essential oil to the bag of my vacuum cleaner and doing this is a great way to really freshen all of the rooms that you are vacuuming in naturally. The two that I'm using today are blood orange which is very uplifting and citrusy and also coriander which is sweet and herbal and it is a wonderful combination and if you guys are interested in essential oils I will link in the cards above a video that I did recently about Simply Earth which is where I've been purchasing mine and I love that company so you guys have to check them out. You can also find a link in my description box below. After getting Austin's cage out of the way and this mat that I use to protect the hardwood floors, I am always so amazed at how much dirt and fur accumulates around his cage and it takes no time for this to happen. I'm almost starting to wonder if he's doing it on purpose so that I'll have to get out the vacuum and he can play. Now I'm going to start cleaning all of the hardwood floors and I'm using the floor cleaning concentrate from the Grove Collaborative. I really like that. It doesn't leave any sticky residue and it does a great job of picking up all of the little paw prints and smears that are on the floor. And I'm also using a mop pad from eCloth and I have it on my Norwex mopping system. I needed to replace the mop head recently and I've heard a lot about eCloth so I thought I'd give them a try and I'm really liking it. I think it's great and if you guys want to know where I got it, I have it in my Amazon store so you can find that in my description box below.
one of the most satisfying things I do when I'm cleaning our home is getting our hardwood floors all shiny. And like I said, I'm using this Grove Collaborative Floor Cleaning Concentrate. And if you guys are interested, I have my referral link in the description box below. I'm using it in this spray bottle. It's a glass bottle with a silicone sleeve. And this is such a great product. It really does such a nice job. I can use this pad without anything except water and it works great. But this just goes the extra mile and makes it a lot easier to get up all the little smears that happen when you have a puppy. <laughs> And you know when we walk on our floors it's been raining a lot lately so we've tracked in more than usual and I can't tell you how happy I am to have my floors so clean. Hope that today's clean with me video gave you guys lots of cleaning inspiration and motivation and if you liked it make sure to give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel I would love to have you as a subscriber so make sure when you subscribe that you hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video and you won't miss out on anything thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next one